You're welcome back to Nationwide. Well, in the 1950s, thousands of Irish people emigrated to Britain. Among them was a carpenter named Anthony Robinson from Donegal. In London, Anthony worked on the building sites and reared his family of ten. His children were educated in the city and his son Jerry Robinson grew up there and went on to become one of Britain's most successful and influential businessmen. After many years running large corporations including Granada Television, Jerry Robinson bought an 18th century estate, Oakfield Park in Raffoe in County Donegal and went about restoring it, replanting all the formal gardens and landscaping it with native Irish trees. The estate has won many awards for conservation and is a major attraction in the summer months. Sadly, in October, Jerry Robinson died and one of his last interviews was with Nationwide at Oakfield Park, his Donegal home. Our reporter Mary Hart went to visit this proud Irishman just as lockdown had ended. Jerry Robinson is best known as one of Ireland and Britain's most successful businessmen. He's the multimillionaire who steered major corporations through choppy waters to success. Retired from the cut and thrust of the boardroom, he now lives in his native Donegal and since lockdown has rekindled a love of painting. I've had a, a bit of basic training, but like absolutely everything, you just learn by doing it. You know, you can read all the books, you can do all that stuff. If you don't actually do it, you, you don't learn. And I suppose the beauty of, of lockdown is at all this time. There's something about not being able to be out and about and do all the usual things that distract you that I think bring you back to uh, the things that you love. And I started again and rediscovered how incredibly absorbing it is. I've really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. And, and I've done a lot. I've probably done more painting in the last two months than I've done in 10 years. Today he's painting a scene he began 10 years ago after a trip around the remote Scottish islands. Well, actually this is one I've gone back to. It's, it's a picture of an extraordinary rock called An Skur, and it's on the island of Egg in, uh, off, the, off the Scottish coast. When I saw it and I took a photograph of it and I came back and uh, I painted it and it was uh, just never quite worked out. So, so I've come back uh, to try and bring it alive again. And I'm actually, I'm in one of those positions where I'm actually quite enjoying <laughs> it's going all right. Jerry Robinson believes that the COVID-19 lockdown has forced people to rethink how we live our lives and what's really important. God, if there's one thing I think we should all have discovered is that actually Life's too complicated. We, we're doing too many things. We're doing things that actually aren't really necessary. We feel obliged to do things that you don't really have to do. And then suddenly there's this permission to actually not do any of that stuff. It's re-energized our thoughts about ourselves. It certainly made me think about the world very differently. Over the past four months, Jerry has managed to produce quite a few paintings, reflecting his love of steam engines and the sea. There's a series called Shetland and I loved the series and there's something about that that made me feel I wanted to capture it and I'm, it's a painting I'm actually very, very happy with. It's quite small but and slightly awkward shaped but, but I loved, absolutely loved doing it. Uh, this one is also Shetland, and I think there's something about the, the kind of crashing of the waves against this lonely church in, in, in the middle of nowhere, which the church is still used. There's, some, there's just something about it which is wild. It's just something special. Not just an accomplished artist, Jerry is also a gifted carpenter something he attributes to his father, who was a carpenter by trade. 
Since lockdown, he's been honing those skills around the grounds at his home at Oakfield Park, which is open to the public during the summer months. I've also been building this model, scale model of the park itself, so that when that's done, and it's a very, it's a very slow process, people do love this miniature stuff and actually I've enjoyed the doing of it because it's very specific, very, you know, big carpentry is one thing, small carpentry requires great deal of care and attention. It's not unlike painting in that regard, so that has absorbed me too and I've been, I've been doing that and I'm about probably a sixth of the way through, through that exercise. And there's a few more he's already completed. He's even made rail carriages for the pleasure train that runs through Oakfield Park. The carriage is a, is a nice thing, we call it the Royal Carriage, and it was just an idea of having something special for a you know, special occasion, maybe a wedding or an anniversary. And it's not very intricate carpentry, but it's, uh, it requires care and a, and a bit of attention. I've built this, built another carriage. I've built a lot of things like uh, a summer house and lots of seats around the place. As some restrictions ease and staycation takes hold, families are now enjoying open spaces like Oakfield Park. Ireland, he believes, has managed lockdown better than most. Ireland has done an extraordinarily good job in terms of managing this thing. We've been very disciplined about it. It's a wonderful test of leadership. Something like COVID-19, you have to deal with it. This is not something you can waffle your way out of or bluster your way through. You have to have leadership qualities. You have to have the skills of taking good advice, following that advice. And I think the Irish government, frankly, I'm very proud to, have, to be Irish. I think it was very, very well done. Mindful of the human and financial cost that COVID-19 has brought, Jerry Robinson says we should all look now to the positives and that things will eventually come right again. Obviously terrible things have happened. People have lost lives. Uh, people have lost loved ones, not been able to attend funerals. Some, some terrible things have been there as a consequence of this. But from an individual point of view, and I suspect from lots of individuals' point of view, that chance to be a bit more inward, I think that inward side has been neglected by us in the kind of rat race in which we live our lives and that's really valuable to have that chance to re-examine the importance of what you do and why you're doing it. And that was the late Jerry Robinson, a man who was very proud of his Irish roots and who passed away in October, leaving a wonderful legacy behind Oakfield Park in his beloved Donegal. Well, that brings us to the end of this evening's Nationwide. Thanks indeed for watching. From all of us on the team, bye-bye.